So I recently launched a new Kickstarter campaign to help finance a new project that I'm calling Sauna Trailer. And the name basically sums up what the movie and ebook are gonna be about. I'm gonna build a sauna on a trailer. It's gonna be a portable dreamland. And I'm gonna film the entire process uh, so that other people can get an outline of what it looks like. And then the ebook will further build on the movie, you know, so that if you decide to build your own trailer, you can follow my lead and do just that. Some people have been asking me questions why I need to build a sauna trailer if I already have a sauna. And I want to confess a little secret to you guys today, and that is that I don't have a sauna. This is a set. So in this short video, I'm going to just cruise around and show you how I made the illusion that I'm sitting in a sauna. So ready? Okay, so where do we start? I guess here's the camera. It's kind of pointed at the wide shot of me sitting in the sauna. Just beyond it is a corner of my garage that I thought sort of looked like a sauna. You can see I was recording the audio with a boom mic. This bad boy right here keeps me sounding good most of the time. Then one of my neighbors was getting rid of some wooden blocks of some sort. He was moving out and I found two of these things on the side of the road. I thought they kind of looked like sauna benches. So I dragged them inside. No sauna would be complete without a ladle. Picked that up at a Goodwill. My household needed a ladle anyway. A nice rusty bucket goes a long way. Kind of gives the impression of a sauna. In it I have some fake oak branches. And every once in a while when the camera turns on I forget my notes, my lines. And so in the bucket I stuck a little cheat sheet. If I have any Russian people watching this, they're going to comment on the branches. They're like, eh, these are not real oak branches. You guys are correct. They are not. I fudged it because nowhere in my neighborhood does oak grow. And traditionally, a Russian sauna will have like a oak branches, birch branches, aspen branches. And in my case, they're just fudged random bush branches. Not to worry though, when we have our retreat, I'm going to make sure to harvest the exact kind of branch we need and that way everything will be very very enjoyable. Okay so kind of like the crux of making the sauna believable is my fireplace and the fireplace is actually just a series of LED light bulbs, two light bulbs and they're LED so they're not warm at all you can literally touch them and these ones are called Let's focus in on these guys. These guys are called LED flame lights. They were super duper cheap on Amazon. I think it was eight bucks for both of them. And as you can see, they work wonders. I also purchased another LED light. This one is also very cheap. I think it was like six bucks. I made some diffusion kind of out of some scrap uh, diffuser paper that I had laying around and I put that stuff on a little dimmer switch because I wanted to be able to control my overhead lighting situation so you can kind of see over there the dimmer switch does that and probably most importantly um, most saunas aren't very well lit so you need to be able to see my face and I'm accomplishing that by using a trusty old Lytra light on a magic arm. So I effectively have like a little light stand, a Lytra light with a soft box, and that bad boy is shining straight over there where I'd be sitting. And these guys are literally lifesavers. They're tiny little lights, the color temperature can be adjusted, the brightness can be adjusted, they're also waterproof, and so they're perfect really for shooting in saunas, even fake saunas. And if I were to give you an entire pan of what you're actually looking at, it's my messy garage. I sort of had to shove everything to the side to make the sauna, plus I've been a bad boy and I haven't been cleaning as much as I should. So you can see that that is my fake sauna. 
And then if you come out here, ooh, that's bright. Ooh. Here's my yard where everything is dug up because we're laying a new pathway. Yeah, no saunas anywhere. Just fake saunas for now. One more thing. There's been some questions about my hat. This is an authentic Russian sauna hat. In Russia, men and women believe that you shouldn't overheat your head because if you do, you could lose your hair and it's just generally not a good idea. So most folks that sauna will wear some variation of this and the sole purpose of it is so that your head doesn't overheat. So I did purchase this hat as a prop, but once I have a sauna trailer, this is gonna be my saunaing hat. There you have it. Mm -hmm.